Casey Glover set to kick off for Tulane. Brian Massey and Trey Siggers deep to receive for the Mustang. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some American football here on ESPN. And that's going to be Massey with an opportunity to return. There goes Massey. Has a crease, and what a good start for SMU. Gain of 42. Mordecai's going to roll to his left. Is he going to throw it back? He does, and it's caught. Great catch by Gray. Making Clark again on the coverage. That'll be enough for a first down conversion. Nick Anderson already making an impact in his return. Luke Rose, a watch list. Kicker puts SMU up 3 0. But a good job by Tulane making the stop, holding SMU to three. The other thing interesting is the dates, because that kind of lets you know when all of these things could take place. Mordecai forced to roll out, has a man open. That's Gray. Looked like a coverage bust for Tulane. And Danny Gray, a big game for SMU. Here comes Tempo from SMU back in Tulane territory. And that's a give to Siggers off the right side that breaks an initial tackle. And what a good, powerful run Trey by Siggers. Earn it. The big play. Right up the middle. Siggers extended the ball. The official runs in, says he's held up short. So again, and again, goal to go, not able to punch it in. We're going to get a great view right here. Oh, he's in. Hey, yeah, that, that's a touchdown. He's in. We have our rules official, Matt Austin, joining us tonight. For the running being short of the goal line. That sort of outlook on what's going on outside of football, man, you go out there and you take advantage of every moment. It's like a Jason Witten starter kit. Yeah. <laughs> First and ten, outside. Look at the cut by Siggers. He is getting yards in big shots. Second and goal. Fake the pitch. Oh, what a ball play. Mordecai down at the bottom. Touchdown, SMU. In there, I don't know if you can moonwalk in cleats on a turf field, but he certainly had an opportunity to try. There's nobody around. What a great call, though. 30 plays to six. 216 yards to 17. So Wayne's got to get it going. And you said it. They are going to fight. They like this player. That's Tajay Spears. Ball spotted at the 40. Pratt has time. Gonna look downfield. Has a man caught by Jaquan Jackson. By Michael Pratt. So here goes Tulane with the Temple shot at the end zone. It is caught, and just like that, Tulane scores. Shay Wyatt. As if it was. Another replay here. Matt, give Matt Austin way in. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen anything that would cause an overturn. Every game, so I'm addicted. Kick's going to be able to be returned. That's Massey. Massey has some space. Stays on its feet. Brian Massey, like he did in the opening kick, giving SMU remarkable field position. When you're going to the left and the ball's on the inside, they absolutely will. Second and seven for Mordecai. Crossing route. You mentioned the tight ends. Here's another one. Touchdown, SMU. Tommy McIntyre. But it doesn't matter. He's able to move up and then watch the throw. Drops it right over the outstretched defender's hands. That was Kevin Henry, the linebacker. We can stand up here and say they're better than their record, but ultimately, when you have a record like that and you're playing against them, you got to blow them out. So third and eight. What can Pratt and Tulane do? They call a run. What a play call. That spears off the left side. And Chip Long dials up a run on third and eight in a game of 13. So first and 10, ball spotted at the 40. That's going to be Spears again off the left side. Boy, he can make a cut and get out there quickly. Two consecutive runs. Crossley brings him down, gain of 15. Here's Pratt, empty backfield. Spears to the left. Here comes the pressure, and he's set. Brought down by Turner Cox. You got Garrett Gilbert, same kind of thing. It, it's, it's a different kind of transfer portal for SMU because they're bringing in a lot of Texas kids, state of Texas kids. Third and nine, Mordecai does a good job keeping his feet. 
That is a veteran quarterback right there. Reggie Roberts into the reception and a gain of 10. Siggers picks up the rush. That's another good slant pass. Get in the end zone, Reggie Robertson. Touchdown, SMU, 22 yards. That's Georgia Tech, Matt. You didn't even need a Texas TI instrument or whatever the thing was called. It's replaying Robertson again. Yeah, I think Darion Rakestraw coming in down from a safety position just takes a really bad angle. Could not afford to go at, at that point. No, I four and out. They went agree. for it. You had to get some momentum if you're going to stay in this game. Pratt play fake sets his back foot. Going to take a shot downfield. Has a receiver, and that's Jackson who caught the 50 yarder earlier, and that's a gain of 43. Pratt looks left, fades one to the end zone. Wyatt goes up and gets it, and that's a good start for Tulane. First possession, second half, seven plays, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, being seriously talked about, but they've got Clemson Saturday at home as Mordecai is going to fake, boot to his left, can't find anybody. He's going to swallow it and be brought down for a sack. That's Joseph, Jojo Dorsis, a loss of four. That ended a streak of nine consecutive completions for Mordecai. Brings up a third and long, low snap. Mordecai gonna take a shot, has Gray. And the huge night for Danny Gray continues. Another third and long for this two-lane defense. Siggers in the backfield in motion, leaks out to his left. Mordecai time over the middle. Boys, this guy tough on third down. He's been replaced by Alan Ali. Siggers gonna take it up the middle. Pony's still rolling. Touchdown, SMU. A missed tackle by Dorian Williams. The team up with Justin Osborne, the right guard, driving the defender back, and Sigurd's able to get in the end zone. So they're going to be on the field the rest of the way in that offense. Carroll, out of the backfield. That's going to be a first down. Carroll's got more. Takes it inside the five, and a big play out of Michael Pratt. Gain of 44. Back, big gain inside the 10. First and goal, Green wave to the end zone. Deuce Watts, count it. Touchdown to Lane. It's the board. No one picks up the back. Watch him come out of there unscathed. Michael Pratt does a nice job. By Mazza. There's more points for SMU. Now 41 to 19. Third and nine. Pratt taking a shot. Has a wide open. Deuce Watts. Coverage bust for SMU. Watts takes advantage, dipping that left shoulder he hurt on the touchdown. Look, I'm with you. It's tough to be a defender, but it was clear he was sliding. I don't think it was clear. Not for a guy that's running full speed at a quarterback. You can't assume it. So Tulane punches it in for the touchdown. Tajay Spears. To make it 41-25. to 25. Sliding is the most defenseless position you can be in in a football field. Going head first is safer. Obviously, running is safer in a lot of ways. Oh, here goes Cowbell. Tyler Levine. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Everything but your neck roll. 44-yard touchdown, Tyler Levine. Not saying he's yeah. going to win it. He's, he's, I would not have a problem He also says he's going to be the face of college football for the next two and a half years. Yes, sir. Completely agree with that. Picked off. That was the backup quarterback, Kai Horton, was in. That's Acton up the middle. And another touchdown for SMU. Boy, has this offense been electric tonight. 612 yards. You're going to learn a lot about this team here.
in the coming weeks. Roddy, final thoughts on what you saw out of the Mustangs tonight. Oh, that guy was fantastic. Tanner Mordecai was excellent, especially on third and longs. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.